how are taxes in Venezuela? Was it easy or difficult to fill them out and to tick all the correct boxes? You get taxed by inflation in Venezuela. The way inflation operates in Venezuela, it changes prices so much and that's the way you actually get taxed in Venezuela. Because when you print more of something, it just devalues what already exists. Yes, that's right. There's hyperinflation going on in Venezuela that's been going on for years. Every time you go to the grocery store, your money is purchasing less and less. Does that make the people more cognizant of the money being taken from them? No one knows better the value of money than someone that is working. When they understand how much the, the government takes from you and you understand that everything that you will work for there is a huge percentage that goes to someone in one office that is spending your money that he didn't earn. And let me tell you, in Venezuela it's like that, in Cuba it's like that. All your money goes to the government. I would add that inflation is particularly evil because uh, at least when you're being taxed like directly, you see how your paycheck is reduced, you know that something is going on, but in Venezuela you don't see in every minute that you could buy less and less stuff with the same amount of money that you used to have like yesterday, for example. It really impacts everyday people. I mean, that's the thing that people don't understand about inflation. I mean, you know, no one expected in Venezuela the kind of inflation that we were facing. You know, that you go one day to another and prices change so suddenly, you become helpless when, when your money is worth nothing. Some people would argue that what's going on in Venezuela is a product of capitalist countries like America putting sanctions on Venezuela. And so they have no option. They have to inflate the money supply to save themselves because they've been cut off from the world. What are your thoughts about that? Insane people. I guess mm -hmm. People that have no idea how the world works. I mean, when you see Venezuela history in the last 20 years, the first sanction came under Obama administration in around 2012. And Chavez was printing money way before that. I mean, the, the whole idea of Chavismo was to print money and to use oil state company money to just fund a lot of programs and fund a lot of stuff. Sanctions had nothing to do with that. All of the big problems we're facing started way before the, the sanctions ever arrived. So to say that sanctions are the, the, the major cause, the major uh, cause of all of this devastation that we're seeing in Venezuela is just nonsense and it is pure propaganda. So do you think that the US could ever become Venezuela? I mean, in the last 14 months, we've seen a 40% increase in the money supply. We're seeing unprecedented money printing right now. Some people are worried that if this continues along this trend, we're gonna start to see inflation at greater uh, rates and maybe hyper hyperinflation in the US. What do you think the chances of that are? I see a lot of people talking about Russia, China, all of these foreign threats that they are actual threats in my opinion, but I, in my opinion, the biggest threat we're currently facing right now is the national debt and, and, and the deficit that, that is, it, it keeps growing and growing and growing every single year. Mm -hmm. I mean, you cannot keep printing US dollars as if there were no tomorrow because you're going to suffer some consequences out of it. It's the central bank in Venezuela that created that inflation. It was not the greedy uh, corporations. I mean, no corporation wants to incre uh, create inflation no, not only because yeah. they can't, because the ones that can't do it is they want to print the money, but what corporation wants their customers to not have money to buy their, st their own stuff? So inflation is not good for no, for no one. When people don't like what banks are doing, they don't like what central banks are doing, they shouldn't go against capitalism. Everything that they think that they hate about capitalism is actually socialism.